All right, so in this equation, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's the variable I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have more space. I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. And what I'm first going to do is take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, 2 over 3 and 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, so they simply cancel out, leaving me with x to the power of 1 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x, so I get x is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. However, we're not done yet, because we still have to simplify this. 16 to the power of 3 over 2 is the same thing as... 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. And again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 4 to the power of 3, and 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. So I get x is equal to 64. Now, I'm going to check to see if this is right. So my original equation was x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16, and x is 64. So I get 64 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now 64 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3. So now I get 4 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Then these two cancel out, so I get 4 squared is equal to 16 and 4 squared is 16, so I guess 16 is equal to 16.